Okay, um, I'm going to show you guys how to kind of edit a little bit and manipulate photos in Google um, Slides. That way you guys have, um, I think most of you have access to Google Slides in case you want to do some stuff to your photos. You can use this um, if you don't have another application. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some photos. I'm going to start with one and I'm going to go insert image, upload from my computer. Um, I want to show you guys this in case you really wanted to layer photos like we were working on in class before this whole thing started. So um, I'm going to choose, I'm going to kind of do like a little self-portrait thing. So here's a photo I took at a museum that I'd like to layer with another photo. And in terms of being able to edit this image already, um, I can look up at my little toolbar here. And if need be, and I want to crop something, um, I can kind of pull these little anchor points and stuff and see where I'd like to crop. Now, I can't move the cropping box, but I can move the picture where I want it to be cropped. So I can do that. Okay, um, and that's just how you crop something. You just move from side to side or corner to corner. Now, I don't really want to crop any of this. I just wanted to show you that the crop tool is there. So I'm just going to move backwards until I'm all back. Oh, no, where did my photo go? It's okay. I'll do it again. Load from computer. And here it is. Okay. Um, I have some other options up here um, with some format options. So um, if I want to adjust size or rotate it, I can go into that and that's fine. Okay. Um, if I want to adjust the position and move it around, I can do that. I can also just click and drag. Um, in terms of recoloring, this app offers you some interesting little um, adjustments. So um, it's not as obviously like deep as um, Photoshop with all their different options. But if you would like to adjust the colors, um, you can do that. Okay. Um, so another adjustment that you can make is the transparency and this is going to come in handy if you would like to um, layer your photos um, now we do have brightness and contrast you're used to those um, adjustments like in Photoshop and if you do something and you're like ah, I don't like it you can always just hit reset and it takes you back to where it was normally um, and then transparency will allow us to make it a little bit more see-through so that we can kind of see through two photos at the same time. Um, there's some other stuff like if you want to add a drop shadow to something, you can, and then you could mess with these um, different toggles and stuff, but I'm just going to click away on that. Um, and there's also this reflection. Um, it'll create a reflection on the bottom as you're seeing. Now, um, if I want to layer photos, I'm going to insert another photo that I'd like to layer. I'm going to upload another one from my computer. And I'm being narcissistic today, and I'm going to be layering pictures of myself to show the different sides of me. Now, one side of me is that I really love Halloween and dressing up in costumes. And then that other picture is me at a museum. Now, this is all good and well, but this is all opaque, and I can't see through my photo. I might want to send this one backwards so it's underneath my original photo. So I'll go to Arrange, Order. And if I send it backward, I'll send it behind the photo I already have. If I send it to back, if I'm working with a lot of photos, this will send this one all the way to the background. So for right now, either one I'm fine. I'll just send it backwards, and now you can see that photo is underneath this one. This one's kind of sitting on top. It's I don't care for how it looks yet. So I think my Mary Poppins picture is just a little too opaque. So I'm gonna move this one to the side. I'm gonna focus on that photo. Okay. And I wanna adjust the transparency on that. So I'll go to format options. It's already popped up. And I'll go to adjustments and I'll start kind of, whoops. I still have the other, I need to click on this one. Here we go. I've selected my Mary Poppins photo and I will adjust the um, transparency on that one. And now it'll work a little better. Oops. Undo, there we go. Okay. And now I can kind of layer my two pictures together and they're both kind of transparent at the same time. Um, I could do a lot more with these two if I really wanted to recolor some of these um, and mess with that. Maybe I want to do like really orange on the Mary Poppins one and then for this one I might want to go with a cooler color like this tealish and that could be kind of cool. I can still adjust things like the brightness and maybe a little more con. Ooh, no, I didn't like the contrast on that one. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll lower the transparency. Um, so you can kind of toggle things around and move things around. Again, it's not as good as Photoshop, but it gives you an option to layer photos.